Hey everybody, I've got a really cool lesson for you today. I'm super excited about this. This was the light bulb moment for me early on when I started playing. When I got tired of playing the same chords all the time, I was like, there's gotta be more to it. And then one day I accidentally stumbled on another piece of a chord that sounded just like this chord. And I was like, how is that possible? And I realized it's the same notes, but maybe they're turned around. So then I started researching that. And that's actually what are called inversions of those chords. So today what we're gonna do is show you how to play up and down the fretboard using triads, but showing you how to play in different places. What it's gonna do is give you new flavors, spice up your playing, it's gonna give you new great ideas. You can use it for rhythm playing, for solo playing. I promise guys, you need this lesson. It's super important, super awesome. Here we go, let's get started on this. Okay, so in this lesson we're just doing, in the key of C to make it simple, we're doing just three chords. We've got the basic uh, C chord, F, and G. I know most of you probably already know those simple chords. Um, remember, on the F chord, we're just playing uh, three notes. So we've got the one, the three, and the five, which is gonna be F, A, and then C. We're gonna learn to play those all over the place. And then we've got um, the C chord, which is gonna be C, E, and then G. Just real easy, and then the G chord, like here, we've got the G, and then the B, and then the D. So that's it on that. So what we're gonna do is play these all over the neck, making them uh, with inversions. So inversions are gonna be the same notes, but they're gonna be in different order. So in the key, like in the chord F, the F, A, and C might be in different positions or different spots on the neck. So let's start with a very easy basic one. We're gonna start, I'm sure you guys know this version here. It comes from the bar chord. This is gonna be F. So we're actually gonna play it like this and drop it from barring. And you can play it just like this. So drop this and just play um, these bottom three strings. And then the next one would be uh, C. C bar chord would be here on the eighth fret. Same thing, we're gonna go down here and play this. And then we're going to play uh, just these three. And then the other one's gonna be G from the bar chord here. Same premise, we're gonna drop the bar and play this the bottom three. And just to preface that, you can actually play this note too because this is the root, this is G also. Same thing with the F. That's F, same thing with C. But a lot of people, if they're playing leads or playing anything, they're playing, they can play just the top three. So I'm gonna show you guys now some different um, inversions of the F chord, the C chord, and the G chord and show you kind of some options. So the first one would be F here. And then you've got an F here. You've got another F here. Another F here. This is more of a F5 because we're not putting the third, we're just doing the one and the five and the root. You play it here. You can play it here and add the F here on the 13th fret. You can also play it right here. Because remember, we've still got the F, A, and C. It's just in different order because now we've got F here, C. I'm sorry, F, A, and then C. So those would be some examples of that. So. A lot of cool times you can do is you can play, let's say you're rocking out here on the root position. While you're still on that chord, you can transition to a second inversion to make it sound cool. So let's say you're going like this. You 
You can do that for all the chords. It's pretty cool to spice it up a little bit on there. So let me show you something really cool about that. I was saying that it connects the neck. So if you look here, um, I'm gonna scooch up just a little bit, get the camera closer. So look at this F chord, the first one. Notice this note right here is F. We go to this next inversion. Here's the F still, but now I'm playing it here on my uh, index finger. Okay, notice these two right here. Now I switch it to this. You can either play this on the F, or you can just play this because it contains the F on this finger right here. So you could do this. And then we go to this F version. Still connected. Now we go here to this version, still connected. And then we go up to this version. They're all connected, guys. Isn't that amazing? That's pretty sweet. Okay, so then let's go to the C chord. Uh, C chord is going to be the cowboy normal C chord like this. See how they're all connected? Pretty awesome stuff. Let's do the G chord here. Okay. If that's not amazing, I don't know what is. Just seeing how those are all connected together. Let's play a little bit and show you guys kind of how I would do that in different versions. So this track's got two parts. It's got a verse part and then a chorus part. Notice how I change my playing style and my rhythm picking uh, and strumming as I do that. So play the inversions is great because it's really going to allow you to learn the fretboard. You guys are going to pretty quick that you can play an F chord here. You can play it here, 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 uh, just all over the place. And once you do that, you honestly can even solo without even having to know scales. I know that sounds crazy. Think about it. The key is C. You've got the F and the G chords, right? And in those key, in that key, all those chords and notes are intermingled together. So that means that you can play them together and make a pretty cool solo out of it. Um, so example, let's say if we started out here with the F chord in this position right here, we could do... These are all chords and notes that are inside of this key. Um, and then we could go, when we transitions to the C chord, we could go the same thing, right? We could play it here. There's your C chord again. And then we go to the G chord, we could do the same thing. We could start up here if we wanted. Mm -hmm. 
There's your G chord again. Then we could go here. G chord here again. All right, here's a little bit of solo to explain what I'm talking about, how you can use these triads to make pretty cool solos, or at least add to solos. to start out um, for this backing track is pick one position and just keep playing it over and over with the backing track. It's going to be linked down below where you guys can download it, play it offline so you guys can get really good at it. So let's say we're playing um, through the track. The track's about two or, two or so minutes. You can play all the inversions or you can play the first uh, triad inversion. So just play the F, the G, and then the C. Those are all the roots. Once you get comfortable with that, come down to the next inversion. You can go F, go to C, and G. And honestly, while we're talking about it, I love this position, especially on the five here, uh, fifth, fifth fret, because you can play this whole progression in the same exact spot. You don't even hardly have to move. So you got the F, your C, and your G. And since this is in the key of C, not to digress, but this is the A minor pentatonic box that is a relative minor key of C. So you actually could play licks in between the chords. So you could do, there's your F. Go to your C. And then your G. There's your G. That's pretty awesome stuff if you ask me. So you could also, once you get that down, you could go to the next version. You could play these right here. So you could do F, C, and then G. This one you have to move around a little bit more, but it's not a problem. It, it really helps you guys move uh, because it familiarizes it with it. And just a little point, don't look at it, look at where you're going. So if you're coming down here, look at this, don't look at your fingers, look at the fretboard, or you'll sometimes get confused and hit the wrong note. So if you're playing here, so your F, and then here, it's just a little tidbit example advice that I recommend you guys do. Make sure you look at where you're going, not where your fingers are, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, that's it for this lesson today. Hope you guys really enjoyed it and got something out of it. Remember, once you learn these patterns, you can take them to different keys. We we're in the key of C today, but you can take them to any key. If you guys want to see more lessons on triads, let me know in the comments below. Also, ring the bell notification and subscribe if you haven't already. I really would appreciate that. Have a great day. We'll see you guys next time. In the meantime, check out some other videos I've done here on different aspects of blues, soloing, chords, just all sorts of stuff I've got here. Have a great day. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.